Yes guys and welcome from me, this is Championship Manager 0102, the Game On Challenge, part 87. Been a bit distant on the old CM game um, game for the last few weeks, I think it's fair to say, I think poker's pretty much taken over, particularly with me and Matt. Uh, that being said, I've got a small session on the free man yesterday, uh, and I've had a couple of sessions with Matt on this epic of an ODB game. So, season 101, it's a home straight. Now... I'm not going to dwindle too much on about the bullshit we had based on the last part. You know, this is where we're at. Um, Matt's had a, an absolute shock in the last couple of sessions. Now, I mean, yesterday's session wasn't actually a long one whatsoever. The one before that was a good hour and a half, but he's had a really bad run. And I think it, it, he's just been a bit unlucky with um, with, with his goal scoring. The Batastuta regen, um, is it Perez? It is Perez, yeah. You know, it's just, I mean, look, nine goals in 21. I didn't even look at that. That's just fucking awful. 7.05 is awful. And um, it, it's shit, really. I think the bottom line is right. I think, realistically, um, Matt's first season in the uh, top flight of German football, he'll be happy to... I mean, I think his objective was always to um, make the Champions League. I think the reason it's set, it seems worse for him is because of all the bullshit we had where, we, um, where it was all fucked up. Um, so I think generally he'll, he'll be happy as we go to the last 10 games of the season. Our games against each other, Matt won the first one at my ground and we drew the second one at his ground. Um, but um, I've still got this issue of uh, 34 grand a week maximum that I could offer. See, for, for a split moment I could offer and it was only literally for, for a split moment because you see... This guy, this right back, I was able to offer him a new deal because I was testing it. I didn't need to give them a new deal. Um, so Dura, uh, forget if he doesn't want a new contract. I, I, yeah, see what I mean? It still says 34 grand. Anybody who's on more money, like 46 and a half, I can only offer him what he's on. Um, so the players that have somehow got just over 34 grand are players like um, Kinian, Mayes, and I think there was one more, but Raffelli was already here. He was already here when I took over, as was uh, Bolly. Um, Moran wasn't. He came in 34. And there was... Oh, I've just sold, actually, the other one. I think it's Del Piero region. The Amica, he was on 100 grand a week, funnily enough. And I recently flogged him to um, Sheffield United. So, the cup. Matt is riding high in the cup. And I'm um, having a bit of a tough time in the Champions League. So, the Champions League looks like this, going into the last game of the second phase. Um... Yeah, we've had a bit of a fucking horrid time. Now, let me show you the Napoli game when I lost 2-0 to Napoli. When my, one of my best players this season, Neil Shaw, got me a free. I mean, you can see how well he's done for me this season. And all of a sudden, he gets me a free. I was fucking seething. And then, of course, I lost at Barcelona. Now, the final game, I'm at home to Sunderland, where um, Barcelona are going to play Napoli. Now, I've tried to work it out, and I think, don't quote me, the only way I can fail is if I lose to Sunderland... And Barca and Napoli draw. That's the only way I can fail to get to the quarterfinals. Uh, because they would both go on 10 and I would stay on 9. If Barcelona win I, uh, and I lose, I'll be level on points with Napoli. And over the two games, I've got a better goal difference. If it was the other way around, I've got a better goal difference than my two games with um, Barcelona. So, that's how I read it anyway. Um... We've had a bit of a good run of late, as you can probably see in the league, but the Champions League has just been woeful. Um, as for Matt, Matt is riding high in the German Cup. He's in the final where he's going to play um, Carlos Aurora, if that's how you pronounce it. Who gives a shit? Um, he's a decent player, isn't he? Where did he spring from? But uh, let's have a look quickly at the signings, the future signings, shall I say, for Matt and me. Now, of course, there is one particular signing that I am not going to pull out of because I beat Matt to him. And that player is Gary Howard. Now, any ideas who you think that is? I, I could be wrong who I think it is, but there weren't many midfield left centres Englishmen uh, who was either foot. But that, I'm sure, has got to be Lee Hendry. Uh, and I beat Matt to him, so um, he will definitely arrive. Meanwhile, the rest of my Bosmans, um, I may pull out yet. So, Dominico Mora. Uh, I may well pull out of him. He, I'm, I know I can get better, so I am going to pull out of him. Uh, Eric De Haan, uh, Dutch defensive midfielder. I'm unsure about him. Really unsure about him. He looks all right. He's young. It's undecided. Uh, Gary Howard just looked at. George Diaz. 
Um, I, I like him. Um, I'm not going to pull out of him whatsoever. He, he's a decent player. Uh, Rob Van Stein, I'm possibly going to pull out of him. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not. I mean, he's done shit this season, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't want to judge it on that. I mean, last season he was all right. Um, and those two are actually players going. So what, we've got five coming. One's got to come. I, I, I will possibly... Yeah, take out Mora and then just go and spend some money. Got to keep an eye on money, obviously. I've got to really keep an eye... Oh, I've got an offer in there. Oh, no, sorry. I haven't got an offer. <laughs> it's offers for him. Um, obviously, remember what I said I was doing? I've gone to town with my resis, where I've put players in there. Uh, Bergvist, I might promote him to the seniors. Uh, that is uh, Ibrahimovic regen. And let me remind you who that is, who may also come to the seniors. That is Dwight York regen. Um, we've also got... Um, Oh, fucking hell. What's his name? The French left-back. The name escapes me. <laughs> I've had a complete mind blank. The French left-back. You know who I mean. Um, and we've got a few other strong players in here. So, And we've got Garner as well, because Garner's a solid goalkeeper. Um, is he ready to step up? Uh, probably not, because my main goal is this season. Marini, that's a Buffon regen. We've got a B um, Khan regen. And we've got Costanzo regen, who may, you know opt for another season yeah I probably will actually and I'll leave um, I'll leave Garner in for another season in the resis um, but I am going to look at selling a couple of the players the old guards really uh, Raffelli I think I'll fuck him off as well um, it, yeah, it's, it's been a real tricky one it really has uh, let's go to Matt then and see if he, what deals he's got in lined up again subject to pulling out of course as you can see he's got um, so three he's got eight so he's going to obviously revisit them on the 30th of June and pull out of some of them. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, midfielder, Bjorn, uh, is it Ligride? Uh, I don't think he'll pull out of him. I think he's fucking quality. He really is quality. Injury prone 12 is a bit of a worry. But if you can look beyond that, so, so see, there you go. No injuries at all. No injuries at all. I know he's only been going for a year and a half. Um, so I, I think he's got to stay personally. Um, Konstantin Badia. Romanian central defender, injury prone ten. Um, I think I remember Matt showing me him actually. I think he's got a bit of a bit of a history. That's a risky one to be honest with you. I think that is a risky. He looks really good, but it's that injury prone, not the prone digits, but the actual history itself. Daniel Costa at Benfica. Uh, he's got to stay. He's got to stay. I mean, injury prone eleven. Let's just take a look at his injury uh, history. He's had quite a few, but I think. He's got to be worth the punch, surely. He looks a fucking remarkable. That's a hell of a find. That really was. Uh, Danny Wimmer. Danny Wimmer, German defensive midfield left back. I'm not a fan of that position, personally. Um, and I think Matt might pull him. I think he might pull him. He would be one of my choices. He's done shit so far this season as well. Uh, Jan Langus, a Norwegian defender slash defensive midfielder. Shit season this so far. Every chance he'll possibly pull out of him as well, in all in all fairness, because um, he ain't gonna want to just pull one, because he'll want to pull more and keep a few spaces to make some fresh signings. Uh, Marco Bossen, uh, left winger, um, very young, still got a long way to go in his career. I'm not sure. That's a tricky one. That is, that's a tricky one. Uh, Saeed Anwar, yeah, I remember seeing him. The Syrian striker, he's going to let him come through. I mean, he looks. I mean, who the fuck is a Syrian beast on the ODB when it first starts? Because I've no clue. He is fucking remarkable. And finally, Sergio Angel Badarabano, and Doran, central defender. I think he's superb. He's got to stay. And I think with him staying, I think um, who is it now? The Romanian, I think possibly w would pull out because you, you've got a nice, a nice defender coming there. Um, in terms of uh, money, now of course, remember, we've uh, implemented the um, bank card loop. We don't know if it's worked yet. We, it looks like it's worked. <laughs> it looks like it's worked. We don't know. Uh, so we're up to £1.98 billion with £61 million pounds to spend. Uh, let me remind you that when we get past the 15th of January, we can start buying players outright, bidding for players, etc., etc., uh, for the new season, because it won't be until July the 1st, after the transfer, um, after the update in mid-June, which obviously ties in with our ruling of only seven transfers per calendar year. Uh, unlike England, you see, because the window opens in June, as you know, or late May, whenever it is. So, uh, that is where we're at. Um, I think...
think I'll be happy to set a title. I, I, I was knocked out of the cup really early on. The Champions League, I'm confident to get through to the Champions League. Um, I'm toying with a new um, formation. Um, stay tuned on that. Um, but this is what I'm currently working on formation-wise. This is, I'm working on a few formations on the update, to be honest with you. And that's what I'm currently working on. But, obviously, it didn't serve me well at Barcelona. So, um, it was fucking shocking. Um, but it, it's shit, really, because, you know, it... Oh, actually, do you know what? I just thought, I didn't actually... Right, so I'll probably go back to that. I'll go back to that, I think. It was probably my own fault. I didn't even think. But I've got a few that I'm working on. And we'll see how we go. So that's it from me, guys, and the old game on. We're back on it. You know, we're getting some small sessions in because we're doing a lot of poker at the minute. Poker's really taking over, uh, which doesn't help you guys if you hate poker and love CM, which you probably do. But um, it's all good fun. Till next time from me, guys, take it easy.